Toby and uh, I'm going to sing here one of my favourite tunes that has no words. <laughs> it's an instrumental piece by a gospel musician called Blind Willie Johnson who uh, yesterday I discovered that the, the Voyager craft that Carl Sagan helped mastermind, you know, they put a bunch of documents of human civilization on there. One of them is this golden disc. A lot of people know about this. They had uh, great music on there from Bach and Beethoven and they included a song from Blind Willie Johnson. And that probe has now reached interstellar space so it's left our, our galaxy and all of that. So Blind Willie Johnson's out there somewhere in interstellar space now. Uh, I'm going to play this piece now. It's called Dark Was the Night, Cold Was the Ground Upon Which My Saviour Lay. So this tune is uh, it's by the legendary uh, uh, gospel guitarist and singer, Reverend Gary Davis. Um, this is one of the tunes that he uh, he played. Um, probably picked it up where he came from the Carolinas before he moved to New York, where he settled with his wife. He came from the Carolinas, so he would have, uh, in his early years, been playing around. They used to have like uh, tobacco sales down there. You know, all the farmers would come out with the with the wares, and then the blues guys would go down and play some music while the guys did their business, make a bit of change. So Reverend Gary started out his career like that and before he. Uh, took up the religion and then he, he mostly ditched the blues but uh, he kept this tune in his repertoire it's a really fantastic piece of guitar it's called Cincinnati Flow Rag and uh, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to go into uh, another piece by Sylvester Weaver which is probably one of the first pieces of ragtime solo guitar ever recorded uh, it's a piece called Smoketown Strut maybe I'll play it properly <laughs>
there you go, that was a Cincinnati Flow Rag and Smoke Town Strut. Two songs you never hear together. Well, smoking a cigar and playing blues. Life's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, yeah, I'll do another instrumental for you while we're here. I want to do this one by Lonnie Johnson. This is a, a little uh, uninventively titled tune called Blues in G. This is Blues in G flat. <coughs> So many guitars. More guitars, more problems. This is a different resonator uh, to the other one. The other, the other resonator is a, it's a national from around 1931. I think that one's a single con, and this one is called a triolian. The, the, it's an old one as well, 1930 body, but it's been re-dipped re in nickel by the previous owner. And he had a custom neck put on it, so it's extra long scale length, which means it's tuned to baritone region of B flat. It's pretty cool. Which suits my voice pretty good for uh, some songs, so I'll try and do uh, a little something by one of my, my all time favorites, a fella named Blind Willie McTell, uh, one of the great blues players. But not just a blues player, he was, he was what? what really should be called a songster, somebody who just played a whole bunch of different styles. His repertoire is probably one of the broadest in all of the blues players, and it encompasses all sorts of things. But I'm going to play, uh, I want to play you a song from Blind Willie's early years, when he was doing more in the Delta style. And uh, this is a tune called Savannah Mama. <laughs>
<laughs> Cask strength. <laughs> Cigars, whiskey, blues, what are we gonna do? This is a tune that I've been learning recently. i um, been studying a lot of ragtime guitar, and um, this is a fantastic number that um, it's taken me a long time to learn how to play for a start, but it's, uh, it's two tunes put together. One of them's by Reverend Gary Davis, and another one is an old. Um, dance band tune from the turn of the century called Creole Bells. It's a really beautiful melody on that one. So I'll uh, give these, these two a shot at you now. too much these days so uh, I think it's really cool it, as far as I'm concerned I think that music is as much of a study as classical music you know and it gets bracketed in with blues which in its essence is a very simplistic music but structurally ragtime is equal to anything in the Western tradition you know it has multiple sections it's syncopated it's melodic and harmonically complex so yeah I think it's a really great great way to spend your time <laughs> learning the ragtime Maybe there'll be a revival and I'll come back in fashion. <laughs> Alright. Let's try another singing song. This is a all time rambling tune called Black Dog Blues by Bayless Rose. <laughs> I can 
plastic bag with a ten dollar bill. It's hungry, been sworn. Been all around Kentucky, state of old Tennessee. sizes this is a zero it's kind of an unusual shape with quite a big sound hole it's made from birch just an old banger yeah it's an old banger but it sounds just good for for the blues you know Sunday clothes in Paul Sunday clothes in Paul Love and Day Let 
watch your deal go down Skin game's going to You better let your deal go down This is a song by Blind Willie Johnson and it's called Soul of a Man. Won't somebody tell me mm, if you can? Won't somebody tell me what is the soul of a man? I'm going to ask a question. Mississippi. Uh, this is a, a, a track by a guy called R.L. Burnside, and uh, and he and, and the other um, exponents of this style, they they tend to do away with a lot of the extra chord changes that the blues might have. <laughs> blues tends to have three chords in it. Hill country guys tend to just stick with the one chord, but it's all about the groove. And it's really hypnotic music. And, uh, this is a number called Going Down South. <laughs>
Draws, draws, draws this session to a close. It's been great to sit here and, uh, and play some blues for you. Um, I, hope, I hope you dug it, wherever you are, you know. Um, this is my house, where I live and work and play, and uh, it's really nice to, to get it on film, you know. Uh, the, the creature in his natural habitat, if you will. So, uh, anyway, listen, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, hope you enjoy it.